Hey guys, what's up? So it's time to get the truck smogged again. And uh, I thought I'd show you a couple tips what I do every time I have to get this thing smogged. So that's actually a 2006, so I actually I purposely got that truck because that was like one of the last years before they started putting the DPF on there, the diesel particulate filter and the uh, DEF tank and all the other crazy stuff they uh, added after that year. I think it was like 2007. Or 2008 is the first year they had actually all the extra smog stuff, so... All right, so I had to put my cat back on, as you can see. Goes up to there. So you'll definitely need to have a cat to pass smog in California. All right, so that's my EGR valve. You'll definitely need to have an EGR valve. They're gonna look for that. And then also, this actually I do have the original uh, EGR cooler right there. This is a power stroke, obviously, six liter. So I'm actually I'm gonna take this off and going to clean it, even though it's not even a couple years old, but I clean it every every year or so. So yeah, because if your EGR valve is sticking, you're gonna have some serious issues with idle quality. All right, so I just cleaned this thing about a year ago, and look at all that soot already. So I mean, this stuff is hard to get off your hands too, by the way. So you should probably put some gloves on. Uh, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna dip it in some uh, carb cleaner dip, but I'm gonna take those seals off first because I'm gonna reuse them. And get this going. Get it cleaned up. All right, see how the thing's staying open like that? That's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to close on its own. You know, that's a serious issue. So I, I definitely got a tight valve in there. So I'm gonna clean all that up and make sure it actuates nice and smooth. It's actually some Berryman's carb dip that I just put in a cup here. The main thing is you don't want to get past, I, I need to put some more in there, but you don't want it to get so high where it actually goes inside the sensor. All right, all right, there it is. It's not 100% clean, but the trick is, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but this thing should move freely like that. See, before it was stuck open. If I did that, so that's the trick there. All right. So also take off any tuning you have. So I'm going to put this back on. But uh, if you have actually like a tuner on there, uh, remove, send it back to stock. I was running a stage three tune, but... Uh, once you get that going, you'll have to do a drive cycle, a couple drive cycles, and I'll show you that We're using the torque app, the emissions uh, readiness test. Hey right, guys, at my truck running here. I only let it warm up here. But as you can see, um, this is actually an emissions readiness test. And uh, the computer is smart enough to know if you've just reset the codes, it makes you go through a, what's called a drive cycle. And it's actually gonna test all your emissions components. And that's actually what tells the actual small guy if this thing's ready to pass or not. So as you can see, everything's good, everything's green, except for that EGR system, where it says incomplete right there. So this is actually Android uh, Torque app. I'll put a link where you can get the Elm 327 to make it run. But, uh, or you can actually get like a ODB uh, scanner with the missions uh, thing on there. But uh, what's crazy is uh, even with that stuck EGR valve, my, I don't have a check engine light. So you wouldn't know if you have a stuck in, uh, stuck EGR valve, you know, unless you took it apart, you know? Like I said, no code, so what would happen is this thing would just always stay incomplete with the stuck valve. So, you know, if you're not able to complete the EGR system, take your EGR valve out and clean it. But uh, I gotta let this thing warm up and I'm gonna take it for a drive cycle, about 50 miles, and then once this is all green, I'll, I'll come back. Hi right, guys, there it is, complete green. Took me about 42 miles, 42.8 miles. Uh, trick is to just kind of go through traffic, stop and goes, freeway, and there it is, complete. So one last thing to do and I'll be done. So don't even bother taking going to the smog shop without this. It won't pass, so it has to, all this has to be complete. All right, there's the last part. Gotta get rid of this evidence. <laughs> That way the smog tag doesn't know have any tuning on there. Alright, clean that up. That's it guys, cool. Gonna pass.